Y'all, these are 60s. <laughs> this is heavy. It's 130. I don't think I've pushed this much down before, so we'll see. Nah. That felt good. I'm gonna grab the 20s. <laughs> Practicing grace, being forgiving to myself if I fall short on a goal. Happy Sunday, you guys. It's the start of a brand new week. I hope you guys are having an amazing weekend. So today is chest, shoulders, and tries. My shoulder is feeling a lot better. Today, I'm gonna do lightweight stuff. I'll probably only do one shoulder movement and it's probably gonna be shoulder flies and I'm gonna keep it very, very, very light, okay? Um, gonna hit dumbbell bench press today. So yeah, that's kind of what I have lined up. But again, I don't wanna do too much. Y'all know this shoulder's been a little wonky the past few days. And last thing I wanna do is make whatever it was any worse. I also wanted to show you guys, so I finally got my veg pre-workout you guys know I ordered this flavor is called Fuji apple pear and I had it this morning on the way to the gym it's not my favorite flavor but it's still really good I'll make sure I don't drink it all tomorrow so I can show you what it looks like y'all know the other flavors they're like different colors and stuff this one was white so it wasn't purple it wasn't red like the other ones this one was white it was okay it's not my favorite flavor would I order this flavor again probably not so far, my favorite flavor from them has been the peach mango, but I'll show you guys what it looks like tomorrow. But yeah, so I'm gonna finish getting myself together. Everything feels good as far as that's concerned. Like my glutes aren't sore. They were sore yesterday, but they're not sore today. Nothing hurts, nothing hurts on my body. My shoulder, like I said, it feels a lot better, but I'm still gonna take it light. So I'm gonna finish up in here and then we're gonna head out there and get started on Sunday mornings of workout. Time check is 3.08 a.m getting harder and harder to get in here by 2.30. <laughs> So that was the first set of dumbbell bench press. That was 50. Felt good as hell. <laughs> he knocked out 10. He didn't really help me. So I have 55s here, about to get him to come back. I might try to get the 60s today. I'ma try. I'ma try to do 60. Yeah, I'ma try turning. <laughs> Help up. Would you say you helped me a lot with that, or? More than the first one. Okay. And probably about, about nine minutes. Not that much. Not as much as I thought I was going to get you up there. Okay. Because I wanted to hit 60s. You said you wanted to hit? Yeah. What you going to try to do? Another 10? No, probably like 6 or 8. Okay. Yeah, okay. I'll grab the 60s for the next set. Y'all, these are 60s. Ah! Oh, gosh. Okay. 
So help me on the first one up, and then let me try to get two without your help. Like, just be there, and then like help me with the other two. <laughs> All right. Wait, my head's not. Now I'm gonna do one more. Y'all, I'm hype as hell right now. Y'all see that though? Y'all see that 60 pound dumbbell bitch press? Stop fucking playing with me. So I did two sets. The last set y'all didn't see because I turned the camera so I could make a reel with it. So that fourth set's a reel, but yo, like, bruh, your girl is strong. All right, finish chest for now. Gonna jump to triceps, give like my rotator cuffs a little bit of a break, and then we'll circle back to shoulders. So triceps, tri I'm, I'm gonna do the tricep push down with the straight bar. So let's go find a cable machine and get at it. All right, y'all, first set of tricep dips. I'm just gonna keep going to failure. Just, I don't know, nothing. I feel like I can't hit my triceps better than the tricep push down on the cable machine. I feel like it's the only way, like I can really feel that burn. And y'all gonna see how when I get down, I hold it for a second or two. So you can really feel that shit. All right, let me play some music. Set number two. Number three, this is heavy. It's 130. I don't think I've pushed this much down before, so we'll see. All right, here we go. Nah. 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 Not bad. I got six. <laughs> Let me move the weight down and finish this one out. Yeah. All right, come on, let's stop playing. Nah. Nah. That's it. Let's go do shoulders. I was gonna do shoulder flies with dumbbells. I got 15 pounds. 
I said, I'm gonna take it like, we're just gonna see how it goes. If it feels good, if nothing's irritating, cause remember it's the right shoulder that was feeling a little wonky these past few days. So just gonna start here. <laughs> but the inner lifter in me is like, nah, bro, we go heavy, we go heavy, but I'm not gonna hurt myself in the process. I'm not gonna do it. So let me get some music in my ears and knock out this first set and see how it feels. That felt good. I'm gonna grab the 20s. <laughs> All right, I got 20s here. Set two. If it starts to feel bad, I'm gonna just go back down. We'll stay at 20 for set three. shoulder started feeling a little iffy so I stopped. All right, that's gonna be it for shoulders today. <sighs> let's go do chest. All right, let's try this dip machine. Let's go do chest. Nah. Mm. Nah, that's it. Uh. 
Mm. Mm. <sighs> All right, I'll see y'all at home. All right, you guys, so I am back from the gym. I'm just gonna sit here and talk to you guys while I make my oatmeal. You guys have seen me make this before, so it's not really like a, you know, like a recipe portion of the video. So, okay, y'all, I am just still in amazement that I was able to hit 60 pound dumbbell bench press. Like, I am just so proud of myself. <laughs> I'm telling you guys, like when, when you hit new PRs, if you haven't already, if you're thinking about working out, but you haven't like done it yet, it is such an amazing feeling. Like it, it really is. It, it just, man, <laughs> I'm telling you like hitting weightlifting PRs is just, you know, I've had plenty of goals in my life, in my lifetime, <laughs> like my lifetime, like I'm so old. Listen, I've had plenty of goals, but it's something about hitting a new PR that is like, like literally the best feeling ever. I don't know. People who work out and weight lift, like y'all understand exactly what I'm talking about. It's just like a totally different vibe. And I don't know. I don't know. I just wanted to just kind of like sit in, you know, memory lane and just think about like how amazing that feeling was. So yeah, I'm just so proud of myself today. Hitting that 60 pound dumbbell bench press felt awesome. It felt amazing. I can't wait till I'm pushing a hundred pounds. <laughs> like what if this time next year I'm doing a hundred pound dumbbell bench press? Like that would be, oh, why did I just do that? Not double dip in the peanut butter. That would just be crazy. That would be freaking insane. And I'm going to actually make that a goal. I don't know when I'm going to accomplish it because y'all know I'm getting back on my cut in like four weeks. So I probably won't be building too much muscle during that time. But a fitness goal of mine is to be able to push 100 pounds each hand dumbbell bench press. Like your girl is manifesting that. <laughs> Definitely manifesting that um okay so it's sunday so like we said it's the start of a new week which means it's time to like set some goals for ourselves for the upcoming week and kind of like also too feel free to grade yourself on the goals that you had set for this past week and did you actually reach them so I told you guys one of my goals for the week was to make sure I'm getting adequate sleep. So between seven to eight hours of sleep. And honestly, you guys, I did that. I did that. And I'm so proud of myself because the week before, you guys, I was running off of three and four hours of sleep. Like so unhealthy. Don't do like me. <laughs> Don't do that to yourself. It was terrible. I can't even believe I allowed that. But yeah, I... Y'all, I was running off of three and four hours of sleep. Like, it was fucking crazy. Because I was still trying to get used to getting to the gym at 2 o'clock, 2.30 in the morning. So, you know, it was, just, it was definitely like an adjustment period for me. But, like, it, don't do that. So, <laughs> so this week, I was like, you know what? Seven to eight hours of sleep, mandatory. I don't care what doesn't get done. Like, I have to make sure I get my fucking sleep. So I did that. And I'm so proud of myself. So I'm going to give myself an A on that goal. So for this upcoming week, I'm going to continue. See, even though I reached the goal, even though you might have reached your goal for the week, still add to it. Don't like stop and, you know, just go on to a new goal. Like, so if your overall goal is weight loss, you know, and let's say last week you didn't want to drink any soda. Okay, that's great. You did it. You didn't drink any soda. So this upcoming week, still hold on to not drinking any soda, but then add something to it. Okay. So this week I'm still going to make sure I'm getting seven to eight hours of sleep. So I'm adding, or I'm going to keep that. And then I'm adding, not beating myself up if I don't accomplish everything on my task list. Like I get so, I told y'all before I'm anal, <laughs> you know, I, I don't have a problem admitting that I'm, I'm pretty anal when it comes to certain things. A lot of stuff I, I just like go with the flow. But some things, particularly like 
business wise and uh, you know just anything that involves Jasmine's business I get very anal about and it's like no it has to be done on this day like if I set a timeline like I have to get it done by that date or I get frantic like <laughs> it's bad it's like serious OCD and so I found myself a lot of times like if I didn't reach the goal I would get like down on myself not like to the point where I'm crying or depressed but I would kind of beat myself up like dang Jazz like what the fuck are you doing man like you definitely could have got that done you're still wasting time like it's unhealthy don't be like me so <laughs> I recognize that this is a flaw so this week you know, I have things that I want to accomplish and get done and stuff, which is good, but I'm not going to beat myself up if I fall short. So let me just give you an example. Let's say, I don't know, I want to be on TikTok live for four hours on Monday, but let's say things happen and I wasn't able to get on there at the time in which I set. So I only ended up on there for two hours. I'm not going to beat myself up over it. I'm not going to go into like a pity party of you should have did four hours because that's what you said you were going to do. I'm not going to do it. I'm going to work hard <laughs> to do those four hours like I set. But if I don't get to all of that, it's okay. Basically, I'm just going to work on giving myself grace. I think that's the word grace practicing grace being forgiving to myself if I fall short on a goal even like let's say I set a monthly goal for my only fans business like I want to make this amount this month and let's say I fall short of that I'm not going to get down in the dumps about it I'm going to be like you know what I gave it everything I had I put a hundred percent effort into it and if I fall short I fall short but at least I know that on my end I committed to the goal because a lot of times stuff is out of our control. You know what I mean? Like you can't, you don't have control over everything. You can only control what you do, but you can't control anything outside of you. And so I have a hard time not understanding that, but realizing that some things just don't happen, not because I didn't do what I was supposed to do, but it was an external factor. So I'm going to work really hard this week, particularly I have things that I want to get done every single day but <laughs> if if it doesn't work out that way even though I tried my best I'm not going to beat myself up over it so that's something I'm going to work on just you know because we have to keep our minds clear and we have to stay positive which is so true and so if you give a lot of energy into things that are outside of you fogs your head so you can't focus on the things that you can focus on so that's a goal of mine I'm gonna work really hard to achieve it another goal of mine is to be more intentional with my food I know I've talked about this before it's like I do good some weeks and then some weeks I don't and then some weeks I do it's never like consistent to where I'm 1000% satisfied so I'm gonna spend some time today meal planning not necessarily meal prepping, but planning like, okay, tomorrow I'm going to eat this, this, and this. The next day I'm going to eat this, 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 and this. I'm going to meal plan. <laughs> okay. And then tomorrow I may spend some time meal prepping. Sometimes I cook like when I need it. So like right now I'm making oatmeal. It wasn't already prepped. So I'm going to work harder on just meal planning and making sure that I'm eating in the time slots I'm supposed to be eating. It's eight o'clock, so I'm doing good today. Sometimes I don't even get my breakfast until 10 o'clock, which is horrible because I still have to eat X amount of calories before I go to sleep at 5.30. So just trying to be more consistent with that, get better at that. Like I said, some weeks I'm really good at it and then some weeks I'm not. <laughs> so just working on getting more consistent with the eating portion. I have the exercise portion down pat like phenomenal but it's, it's still a struggle with the eating I still struggle with that not necessarily eating bad or eating unhealthy but just eating does that even make sense I don't even know if that makes sense but 
it's something that I struggle with. So I'm going to work on that this week as well. So make sure you guys write out your goals again for the week and grade yourself and be honest. It's just really between you and you. So there's no sense in lying to yourself. It's not like you have to report your grade to the teacher. Like it's really how you feel and don't lie to yourself because you're not helping yourself if you don't tell yourself the truth. Okay. The worst lies are the lies we tell ourselves. <laughs> Seriously. I used to tell myself a whole bunch of lies. So, you know, don't do that. Be 1000% honest with yourself, you know, critique yourself, analyze where you could have done better, where you fell short, all of that. So that way you can do better this week. You know what I mean? So yeah, just a little bit of information to pass along. I'm going to finish cooking this and then I'm going to eat it. I'm so hungry, you guys. I'm like starving. Thank y'all so much for watching. Tomorrow is back and biceps. Yes. Tomorrow is back biceps and abs. Our favorite day. <laughs> I got to figure out what I want to hit tomorrow. Maybe throw in something new for you guys. I'm not too sure yet. Make sure you guys download my positive mindset journals. The link is down in the description over 1000 pages, 15 plus workbooks of things to help you get that positive, strong mindset. Also make sure you guys download my plant-based ebook that is also down in the description over 100 recipes for breakfast, lunch, and dinner that the entire family will love. Lots of healthy stuff in there. This uh, oatmeal that I'm making is in the plant-based ebook. So if you want the recipe to that, go ahead and download and make sure you guys check out some of my other videos. Lots of good information in there. And I will see you guys tomorrow, dark and early for back biceps and abs. Bye. Happy Sunday.